let's keep checking the probabilities in this question and finish it off so now we're gonna check for the other cell for the other column over here the relationship between x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 so we have the probability of x equals to 2 y equals to 1 that should be the probability when x equals to times the probability of y equals to 1 let's check if that's true or not the probability of x equals to 2 that's 0 0.30 so 0 0.3 times the probability of y equals to 1 is equal to 0 0.6. If we multiply the two, that's equal to 0 0.18, which was 0 0.18, which is what we have in this cell. So this relationship is in check. Let's keep going. The probability, let me go here below. Let me go here below. The probability of x equals to 2, y equals to 2. That's the probability of x equals to 2 times the probability of y equals to 2. The probability of x equals to 2 is equal to 0 0.30 times the probability y equal to, that's going to be 0 0.3 as well. If we multiply the two, that is equal to 0 0.09, and that's exactly what we have in the cell over here. So one more relationship in check. Now we do the same when, the probability, when we're checking the probability of x equals 2, y equals 3. So probability of x equals 2 and y equals 3, that's the probability of x equals 2 times the probability of y equals 3. Let's check that, the probability of x equals 2, 0 0.3. The probability of y equals 3, that's 0 0.1. If we multiply them, that's equal to 0 0.03. If we have a look at the cell, it's also 0 0.03. So one more relationship in check. And now we have one more last column to check over here. The probability of x equals to 3 in relationship with the y values. So let's do it. Let's go here to the right to keep track of the table. And we're going to calculate. We're going to calculate over here. So we have the probability. The probability of x equals to 3 and y equals to 1. That should be the probability of x equals 3 times the probability of y equals to 1. Let's see if that's true. 0 0.6. That's the probability of Hold on, I'm sorry. The probability, let me just get more of the table here. So something like that. The probability that x equals to 3, that's 0 0.2. So that's 0 0.2 multiplied with the probability that y equals to 1. That's the first row over here, that's 0 0.6. If we multiply that 2, that's equal to 0 0.12. And if we check the cell, that's exactly what we have. So one relationship in point now. Let's go to the next cell. The probability of x equals to 3, y equals to 2. That's equal to the probability of x equals to 3 times the probability of y equals to 2. So we want to check that. The probability of x equals 3, that's 0 0.2. Probability of y equals 2, that's the second row, is 0 0.3. If we multiply the 2, that's equal to 0 0.06, which is what we have in the cell as well. So one more relationship checked. And the final one. We have it over here, the probability of x equals to 3 and y equals to 3. That should be the probability that x equals to 3 times the probability of y equals to 3. Let's check it. x equals 3. It's a probability of 0 0.2. And the last one, the probability of y equals to 3, 0 0.1, which is the last row over there. Multiplying the two would give us 0 0.02. Checking the cell for the last time, it's 0 0.02 as well. So one more relationship check. We have seen that we checked all nine relationships. All of them hold true that the probability of x and y is equal to the probability of x pro times the probability of y. So we can say that the variables are independent indeed. And the answer key says that they are independent. So it is true. And we are done.